Hey guys, so here we are with some 40k lore, and we're talking about the gayest chapter that's ever been invented. The Rainbow Warriors. Woo! After the... Now you may wonder why your dearest boy Freeze 700 is talking like this. And that's because I actually hate this chapter. So you see, back when Warhammer first started, it wasn't known as Warhammer 40k. It was actually known as Rogue Trader. And to this day, there's some websites out there that call themselves Rogue Trader and you could buy models and shit like that. Cool. But back then, the first founding chapters weren't that concrete there was actually a few chapters in there that would later be renamed as second founding chapters and so on because if you're a first founding chapter that means that you are blood angels stuff like that so these guys used to be that they used to be one of them they used to be considered a first founding chapter although that was later retconned now i shit you not when they used to exist back in the first editions the Rainbow Warriors were actually shown fighting the Adeptus Sororitas. Now, if you're fighting the Adeptus Sororitas, that usually means that you're a heretic of some form, or that you are in a certain belief system where your ideologies are in conflict. Like, per se, if I'm a salamander, and I'm on a world that has a bunch of heretics, well, some of these people aren't heretics, I'm going to try to save them. The Adeptus Sororitas do not see it that way. They see it as just purge all motherfucking people on this planet. So you could see why they would kind of battle each other in that regard. But the Rainbow Warriors aren't like the Salamanders. In fact, they're actually Ultramarines. That's right. They're actually sons of the Rober Gilliman. So, yeah, they try to help civilians, but they don't really care. They really don't. They'd rather just, you know, focus on the objective and win the war. After all, Terran birth rates are fucking ridiculously high, so who gives a fuck if a few million humans die? So either way, the Rainbow Warriors, as they are right now, I think they're dead. I honestly think that in current lore they're annihilated, mostly because GW is embarrassed that they even created this fucking chapter. I'd be embarrassed too if I created a gay space marine chapter. Like, what the fuck kind of name is Rainbow Warriors? Who the fuck sits there in huge-ass power armor comes storming up to you and goes I'm a rainbow warrior bitch that's right be afraid someone comes up to me saying they're a rainbow warrior I'm gonna look at them and go yeah all the flower power to you buddy cause that is just such a dumb ass name for someone who's supposedly a badass now there's some interesting stuff to their lore though so when they got retconned they were no longer a first founding chapter that's awesome that's good because last thing I knew, uh, the Emperor was straight, so I don't know why he would make a bunch of gay space marines. So, you know, that's great. But, when they were retconned, the Adeptus Orita thing never happened, supposedly. You know, supposedly. But, later on, this chapter, and the Relictors chapter, and another chapter known as the Fire Lords... All three of these guys were on a planet that was dealing with a demon incursion. But not just a planet, they are actually dealing with the whole fucking sector. This was known as the Blood Star Campaign. Not much is known about it. But we do know this, is that all three chapters lost their chapter masters. And they all suffered heavy casualties. Now what we know about the Relictors, I can assume, is what happened to the Rainbow Warriors. So... The Relictors were eventually excommunicated and were pretty much annihilated by Grey Knights due to them being deemed heretics or traitors of some sort. Well, them using demons and fighting demons all the time and all this shit, it really could possibly corrupt you, even though you are stalwart defenders of humanity, like the Space Marines. I think that's kind of what happened to the Rainbow Warriors. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all happy that they're dead. But, on the flip side, though, it's interesting to peek into why we don't know about it. So, the Rainbow Warriors, after their Blood Star campaign, were badly damaged. They lost their chapter master. They probably lost a good two-thirds of their chapter. They are pretty fucking weak. They'd have to sit by and recruit members to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, their homeworld is known as Prism. And if you look at 
Prism today on the modern codexes, it says records are deleted. That's a little strange. And some people theorize that maybe these guys were disbanded. Maybe their world is under some sort of Inquisition investigation. I think that they're dead. Because here's why. I think that the Adeptus or Rita thing probably did happen. But they're just probably burying it with paperwork. So now we already have an incident before the Bloodstar campaign where they had altercations with fanatic ecclesiarchal forces. So that already shows that they were probably already traitors to some extent. But then, after the Bloodstar campaign, they just fought chaos. They fought demons. They probably are affected by some sort of taint, even though they don't know it. And I would not put it past the Inquisition to just fuck over the Rainbow Warriors, because after all, they're a very small chapter. No one cares about them. No one really knows about them. They're an unknown founding chapter. So it wouldn't be too far-fetched for them to just get rid of them, especially since they were friends with the Relictors. And if you're friends with a guy who just got excommunicatus traitorus, you better have other buddies. And thankfully for these guys, they did have one other buddy. But, well, Fire Lords aren't exactly... Eh, not exactly much. Like, they fight against Chaos, yeah, and they aren't corrupted, yeah, but... Eh, they're not exactly going to vouch for you. And even if they did, they're not going to mean much. What you need is, like, Ultramarines or real first founding chapters to vouch for your purity. But either way... I think the Rainbow Warriors are dead. And I think GW is just trying to bury it so everyone would forget about the fucking Rainbow Warriors. But I think us as a community should keep bringing up the Rainbow Warriors discussion only just to kind of embarrass GW. Just to see GW's cheeks blush red and go, guys, come on, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to make gay space marines. But we're going to keep sitting there going, gay? So... Besides that, that's pretty much all there is about the Rainbow Warriors. I just feel like talking about them. And if you're curious about their battle tactics and stuff like that, they're Robert Gilliman's lot. So that is going to be pretty much how they fight. Is exactly like the Codex Astartes. That's really all I could really tell you. Because there's not much about them, mind you. There really isn't. So that's pretty much it with these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And besides that, this video is going to be a little short. But there's going to be a double whammy. So, then when this one gets uploaded, expect another video, but it's going to probably be a Luther Harkon Needs Booty Part 9. That's right, two videos one day. See you guys next time. <laughs>